Okay, we are making some kombucha today. <clears throat> the recipe we're using, the first thing you do is you bring four cups of water to a boil. You add in one cup of organic sugar. Uh, you mix it in, you stir it till it's dissolved. Then you will add in three tablespoons of tea. We're going to be using a mixture of um, black tea, two tablespoons black leaf tea, and then one tablespoon of green leaf tea. Trying out that mixture. And then, so obviously you'll need some measuring spoons for the tea, uh, for the water and the sugar, and a big, I think this is a gallon, yeah, a gallon size mason jar to put it in after. Um, so this is the first step of the process. And then, uh, is this dissolved? It looks pretty dissolved, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna add in our tea now. And... Hi guys! I'm behind the camera. Hello! So we're going to do two tablespoons of our black leaf tea here. And we are going to let this uh, steep or just sit there until it's all the way cooled down, which can I uh, can't really see anything from that. Uh, take a couple of hours, and then we're adding one tablespoon of our green leaf tea to our mixture. I'm gonna mix it in a little bit. Yeah. Allow, allowing it to steep until it's cooled down, which usually, like I said, can take a couple of hours. And then, so if you don't want to watch after, so once it's cooled down all the way, we, we would strain it out and then add the, let's see, um, yeah, we would add this water or this mixture to this along with the SCOBY our starter scoby or mother um, and then eight cups of more spring water and we would start the fermentation uh, process so it's really easy to make and brew your own kombucha it just takes you know a little bit of time for the fermentation to work its magic but you know it's really cool to be able to make it at your house you know exactly what goes into it you also save a lot of money and you can save um, you know waste as well by doing it at your home so we're gonna let this cool down and we'll see you at the next step Peace. <laughs> hey guys we already poured it in just that I forgot the microphone so let's try and pour it into here now that is a lot so how much did we let the uh, to a room temperature. Yep. So, let's put this back on. And tr Whoa, that's a lot. Our little filter. And we'll put it in our big gallon size mason jar. And that's all the gunk that's in that. And this. <laughs> so, let's get another shot of this. Okay, and we are about at one ounce. Oh, uh, that's probably one liter. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so and we got then, that. So, friend's recipe called for eight cups water. <sighs> so we gotta get more spring water in that and put it in there. So we'll Where's your? Yep, we'll be back. Bye. Okay, hi guys. Today we're gonna try and do it a little bit faster because our thing's about to die. But we're gonna do eight cups of our spring water that we usually get by Grandma Bingos. There we go. That's two cups. Wait, in there, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Ooh. Okay. 
And that's two cups. And let's move this mother for a second there. So why do we like make kind of our own kombucha? Well, because we like to try different things, but also because we're kind of cheap. Because <laughs> it can get kind of expensive, huh? Yeah. But we also like making it all as a family, just that my mom's watching the show, so that's four. I think we're going to need more spring water, Toddy. Really? Yeah. It's so you need two more cups after that, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a lot. Yeah, we need a little bit more. Okay, so we're back. We got more water. And there we go. That is seven, eight cups. Okay. There we go. Now it's time for the mother. So we basically, if you could do it without it, uh, take out this, um, <laughs> grab the mother, and you kind of a little bit tip it over, but not just pull it out. Yes. <laughs> uh, so we kind of tip it over, but then we also, uh, be careful. Okay. So we kind of be careful. So we be careful until it's stuck. Okay, so we put it in there. That is. Look at that. Isn't Ew. That cool? No, that does not. Oh, not to me. <laughs> so then we usually put a cloth or a paper towel or anything that could cover over it uh, with the rubber band to secure it. Leave it out of the sun, somewhere cool. Um, we usually put it in our pantry, because that's the most coolest in our house. <laughs> so, we, so what do we should use? Should we use a paper towel or a cloth? Uh, we'll Don't. Get, uh, cream yep. Yeah, I'll be right back. You talk to them, Todd. So, we just grabbed uh, a cloth that was brown. That you only need it to cover up the lid, not the whole thing. But then you grab a rubber band. Well, you just use a big one for some reason. Um, so we do that. That's good. I wouldn't know how to do that now. There we go. Then make sure it's all tied up. Make sure it's all covered. And it's covered. Then you have some nice kombucha. Also, you put it somewhere that's out of the sun and stuff. Uh, but also you keep it like this um, <laughs> until you get the taste that you like from your kombucha. So bye, guys. Peace out.